This lecture will conclude the examples associated with the potential energy stored in a capacitor. The following example is a largely qualitative question, where in this question you will see variations of it, for example, on the AP Physics C exam. It involves charging up a capacitor and then separating the distance between the two plates. Let's go ahead and read the problem. Please copy it down into your notes. Okay, so calculate the change in a parallel plate's capacitor's potential energy if the plate separation is doubled for the following situations. Part A, the voltage is maintained while the plate's separation is doubled. So let's take a look at part A first, and here's what's being described. Okay, so here's a battery, for example, of voltage V. Right here is our parallel plate capacitor. Initially, it has a capacitance that I'm going to label as C0. Once it's fully charged, it has a voltage V. And then right here is the plate separation. The plate separation I'm going to refer to as D0. When the capacitor is initially charged, it has a charge we're going to label as Q0, like so. Okay, now the basic expressions here are as follows. First of all, we have the capacitance itself, C0. This is equal to epsilon naught A divided by the distance D0. Okay, and then we have the charge that's ultimately gathered here on the capacitor's plate, Q0, and it's equal to C0 times V. And then we also have the initial potential energy stored. Let's label that as U0. U0 is equal to 1 half C0 times V squared. So this right here is just, so far, a basic description of what happens when we initially charge up the capacitor. Okay, and now somebody reaches in, grabs a hold of the two plates of the capacitor, and then separates them like so, thereby doubling the distance. The whole time that this happens, however, the capacitor is hooked up to the battery, so the voltage is maintained. So now we double the separation. the plates, but the voltage is maintained. Okay, what happens then? Well, let's calculate the new capacitance. In this case, we'll refer to this plate separation as D. It's equal to twice the old value. So then therefore, because capacitance does directly depend upon the plate separation, we're going to now have a new value of capacitance. So let's go ahead and calculate that. Let's just refer to it as C. So then therefore, this is equal to epsilon naught A over D, where in the denominator of the expression, D is equal to twice the value that we had originally. Like so. And then notice that this new capacitance is one half of the old value. So, this then means that the charge that is gathered on the plates has to have changed. Charge, as we'll see, will have to flow from the plates back to the battery in order to maintain the voltage. So now we're going to have a new charge. That new charge we'll label as Q. This is equal to the new capacitance multiplied by the voltage V. The new capacitance, however, is one half of the original value. And then right here, C0 times V, that's the original charge, Q0. So then therefore, if somebody reaches in while the capacitor is still hooked to the battery and then doubles the plate separation, this then means a charge flows back to the battery in order to maintain the voltage. This will then, this will then result in a decrease in the potential energy stored. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So the new potential energy, call it U, is one half CV squared, where the C here, the capacitance, is, where is it, right here, one half of the original value. Like so. So then therefore we would have one half of the original potential energy stored. The final potential energy is less than the initial potential energy. This illustrates essentially why you want to keep the plate separation as small as possible so you could store as much energy as possible in the capacitor. Now, what is a nice mechanical equivalent of, the, of this, just so we can kind of picture the situation? Well, it's as if we took a stretch down spring like so, somebody reaches in and then allows the spring to decompress a little bit. So then therefore there is less potential energy that is being stored. 
Okay, what is happening in terms of the electric field in such a situation? Well, consider what happens on the top board before we separate the plates and double the distance. So here's the original distance, D naught. Okay, so here's the capacitor itself. Here's the plate separation D naught. Here's the original charge Q naught, like so. Keep in mind that voltage is equal to the electric field multiplied by the distance D naught. Okay, now because we are going to be doubling the plate separation in just a moment, this then means that in order to maintain the same voltage, the electric field will have to change. So I'm going to refer to this initial electric field here as E naught. Okay, now that original electric field then therefore looks like this. Okay, I'll draw three lines here to represent that electric field. And now somebody reaches in while this is still hooked up to the battery and doubles the plate separation. Okay, so now we have the new distance, D, oops, D, which is equal to two times D naught. And then therefore, that looks like this. So let me go ahead and draw here a larger separation between the two plates. And now this distance here is two times the original value of D naught. We now have less charge on the capacitor's plates. Remember that the Q that we now have is one half of the original value. And then therefore, the same voltage V is now going to have to equal a new electric field value multiplied by the new distance, which is 2 times D naught. In order for this quantity here to be the same thing as this quantity here, notice that the electric field has to be one half of the original value. Like so, such that this product is once again the same thing as it was before. So then therefore you have a lesser value of the electric field magnitude. Instead of drawing three lines, let me just draw two lines to represent that. We have weaker E field. Here's how you can sort of think of this mechanically. So consider it in terms of gravity. Let's say that we have right here the two plates separated by a distance, say, of 10 feet. And then we have some original gravity field. Okay, and then what we do is we double the plate separation, plate separation to, say, 20 feet. In order to maintain the same voltage, the gravity field has to be weaker. That's essentially what's being described here in Part A of the problem. Okay, now in Part B of the problem, now what we're going to do is we're going to charge up the capacitor again, disconnect the battery completely, and then separate the plates. Let's see what happens in that situation. This is Part B of the problem. Okay, let me go ahead and do some erasing. Okay, so let's go back to this diagram here. In this case, however, because we are eventually going to be disconnecting the battery, charge will not be able to flow back to the battery like it happened in part A of the problem. So then therefore, I'm just going to label this as a Q, like so. When we initially charge up the capacitor, it will have an initial voltage that I'll refer to as V0. That's going to be the same as the original voltage of the battery. Okay, and then we have our original capacitance here like so. We have our charge Q, which is equal to that original capacitance multiplied by the voltage V naught. And then we have the initial potential energy. This quantity here. Okay, and now we disconnect the capacitor from the battery completely. So disconnect from the battery double the plate separation to once again a value of D, which is equal to two times the original D naught. Okay, the charge itself in this situation, however, cannot change. It cannot flow, for example, back to the battery like it did in part A of the problem. So then therefore, I'll draw here on the bottom board, we now have the following. Here is now the disconnected capacitor like so. 
Here's the original charge Q, like we had earlier on the top board, but now the plate separation here is twice as much as the original. We, of course, will have a new capacitance. The new capacitance here is epsilon naught A over this new value, like so. And once again, the capacitance here is one half of the original value. But keep in mind that the charge has to be the same. Remember that charge is equal to capacitance multiplied by voltage. The new capacitance is one half of the original value, therefore the voltage has to have now doubled from its original value, like so, such that this product right here is exactly the same as it is here on the top board. Okay, now let's go ahead and calculate the potential energy U. This is gonna be one half CB squared. So let's go ahead and see how the final potential energy compares to the original value. So then therefore I have here one half times one half C naught, and then multiplied by V squared, where V is two B naught. Like so. So two squared is four divided by two gives the original value of two. Like so. And then therefore the final potential energy here is equal to two times the original value. So an external agency has to do work in this case of separating the plates from each other once they've been charged up and once we separate the, ca the capacitor from the battery. Okay, what's happening in terms of the field in this case? Okay, well in this case, we now have the following. Okay, so prior to separation, So here's the original capacitor, like so, charged up. Here's the value of D naught. We have a Q, like so. The voltage V naught is equal to the electric field multiplied by D naught, like so. So here's the electric field, like that. Okay, and now we separate the plates. So when we separate the plates, like so, Right here now is the new separation value of 2D naught. Therefore, the voltage here, V, which is equal now to the same electric field as it was before, it's the same electric field because the Q here, remember, has not changed, but now we have a new separation, 2D naught. So then therefore, the new voltage is once again twice the original value. So in other words, it's like you're in a gravity field and you start off with just 10 feet as your separation and then you double your separation to 20 feet, therefore you double the voltage. So it's the exact same electric field. Like so, so because it is the same electric field, it's as if you're doing work in lifting an object to a greater height. Okay, variations of this type of an example periodically pop up on the AP Physics C exam.